What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, we're going to be talking about some problem solving strategies for addition and subtraction of fractions. So, here we go. We have this problem. We have Jamal walked three quarters of a mile yesterday morning and one eighth of a mile yesterday afternoon. What was the total distance walked by Jamal? So, our very first step is identifying some facts. So, step one. If you can figure out what the facts are, you'll be on the right track. So our first one is that Jamal walked yesterday. And so you say that's pretty simple, but that's a great starting point. At least now you're trying to picture maybe where he walked. Maybe he walked to school, to a friend's house, to the store. He got a Slurpee, whatever he went, he was walking there. He walked three quarters of a mile in the morning and an eighth of the mile in the afternoon. So maybe he walked to school in the morning but then walk to a friend's house in the afternoon a little shorter of a distance so in step two we have to identify what the problem is and so we have to figure out the problem is identified with the question mark here in our problem what is the total distance walked by jamal and so if you can identify what the problem is you'll complete step two which means that you're almost halfway there in solving this word problem and in step number three, we got to figure out what operation are we using? And so we can look at the question again. So the question was with the question mark, obviously. And we figured out what's the total distance. So total distance means we are adding, friends. We're going to be adding these two fractions together. And so we're going to go ahead and set that up in this box in step number three. So we're going to set it up as three-fourths plus one eighth so you can see we haven't solved anything yet but we're just setting ourselves up to be very successful in solving this problem so now we have to figure out what are steps to answer this question we know that we need to make common denominators first we're going to add our numerators together but we're going to keep the denominator the same so whatever we made with common denominators in this first part we're going to keep the denominators the same. So now we actually have to solve it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and change three fourths. We need to have fractions that are over eight is our common denominator. So for three fourths, we're going to multiply the denominator and numerator by two. So four times two gives us eight. Three times two gives us six. One eighth is already good to go. So we're going to just go ahead and add our numerators together. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And our denominators, since they're common denominators of 8, that gives us a denominator 8. And so let's go ahead and make sure add our label in there, our labels miles. So we say our friend Jamal, the total distance he walked was 7 eighths of a mile. So here on the back of the notes page, we have this problem. We have a jug of drinking water contained one and a half gallons. After one day, five eighths gallons have been used. How much water was left in the jug? So step one is what are the facts? The facts is we had a jug that held a one and a half gallons of water. And that five eighths gallons was used. And so this might have been a sporting event with Gatorade container filled with water. Um, this could have been maybe they were on a picnic maybe they were out camping who knows but this jug held one and a half gallons five eighths was used so those are facts well, what the problem is the problem is usually with the question mark how much water was left in the jug and so that's step two is we're just figuring out how much is left after the five eighths was used so what operation is this? So how much water was left? We'd say that we are now subtracting these fractions. So we're subtracting the fractions and we're just going to set it up one and one half minus five eighths. So right now you made it to step three, which means that you are over halfway there in solving this problem. So let's go ahead and keep working at it. So what are the steps to answer this problem? 
So the first step for this one, let's make it easy. Let's make all the mixed numbers into improper fractions. And if you don't know how to do that, it's okay because in the next step, we'll show you how to do that. Then you're gonna make common denominators. We're gonna subtract the numerators and keep the denominators. And so whatever denominator that we got right here in the step making common denominators, that's the one we're gonna use in our final answer. So right now we have it set up, let's go ahead and solve it. And so our first step is, let's go ahead and make our mixed numbers improper fractions here. So two times one is two, plus one is three. So I have three halves minus five eighths. Our common denominator is gonna be eight. So let's go ahead now, five eighths stays the same. So two times four, four gives us eight, so, and three times four gives us 12. So we're gonna have 12 eighths minus five eighths. The denominator stays the same. So we have our eighths here. And now I'm just doing 12 minus five. That's gonna give us seven. So I can say that how much water was left in the jug, seven eighths gallons, seven eighths of a gallon was left in this jug. So for your next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into IXL and you have a sheet that has 10 blank spots in it. So these blank spots, what they're gonna do is that's gonna be where you're gonna show your work for your classwork today.